is not how I want it to be. But anyway, what's going on guys? It's your boy Chris. And we are cooking breakfast this morning. Uh, I know you guys have been requesting for me to do a um, cooking video. So here we are. We're going to do breakfast cooking, okay? I got on gloves because I've been dealing with some spices, okay? Anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, continue the cooking. Uh, today we're making, as you can tell by the title, a breakfast hash, uh, which consists of... Can I flip the camera? Yes, I can. Okay, which consists of potatoes diced i did them kind of uh in nice thick oh lord and kind of bigger chunks because i wanted to make a bigger hash today so i got bigger chunks like this like this it's gonna get full we got some bell peppers um jalapenos jalapenos some red bell peppers um what's up Alyssa? some onions and we got the sausage of course and uh we're also going to put some spinach in it. Say hey, babe. Hey. Okay. Say hey, Andrew. Andrew's cooking with me this morning. Say hey. Say hey, Andrew. Okay, so Andrew's... Anyway, we're going to continue to cook. Oh, shoot. What am I doing? Flip the camera. We're going to continue to cook this hash real quick. And... Uh, am I bothering you, babe? Why you leave? Why you leaving me? But you leaving me? Oh, you're not hungry? I am. But you're cooking, right? Yeah. In the kitchen with Chris, baby. Early in the morning. Well, it's not early no more. I still feel like it's early though. Cause it's raining outside, so. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut up the sausage, dice up the sausage. But before I do that, I guess I need to go ahead and get the uh, skillet hot. So let me do that so I can um, throw the potatoes on and let those start to simmer. We got the olive oil, we're gonna put it on the olive oil. Oh, you're in Florida. Hey. Really, I shouldn't have used olive oil, but olive oil is healthier. I should have used uh, some vegetable oil because it has a higher burning um, temperature than olive oil. And since this is going to be cooking for a while, that probably would have been a better choice. But whatever. So I'm going to cut up the sausage. This ceramic knife is not the best knife for meat. But we're not about to dirty up multiple dishes. So while that oil is getting hot, we're just going to dice up the meat. Then we're going to throw the, the, then we're gonna throw the potatoes in. As y'all can hear, Rael and Shauna upstairs playing. <laughs> Yeah, it goes down. It's very, very good. This is one of our staples of breakfast. Besides the good old grits and eggs and biscuits and bacon. This is the alternative. Yeah. We love it. We love it around here. I used to be scared to cook this because I didn't know how long to cook the uh, potatoes for or uh, how to make them, you know, get soft enough to eat while sitting in the skillet. But yeah. Y'all yeah, tell uh, Damien and Bianca to come holler at me <laughs> for some cooking advice, baby. I got them. I could have did this not live and just recorded it and made it a better production, but we'll see what the response is on this. And then if y'all like it, y'all can come cook with me on more episodes for sure. 
So I'm just quartering my sausage. I round them off and then I cut them into four pieces. Like that. Oh God. Can't afford to lose no meat. So as you can see, it starts out as a circle. I usually stack them, but just for representation, I cut them in half like that. Yeah, I was going to throw my hat on, but I was like, mm, we ain't got to. But hey, if it's requested, then it ends up in four pieces like that. Okay. So that's just to make it easier to cook and you, you get more out of it, especially when you got a nice size family like me. And it spreads throughout the uh, throughout the hash, so as soon as you taste the piece, you can tell because it got that salty goodness, and it's like a, a nice little treat within the good meal. And the Texas Rangers playing early today. Okay, so the last one. Oh no, we got another, another chunk of. You okay? Yeah? Alright. Um, yeah, but if the hat is requested for the next one, I'll do it on the next Cooking with Chris. I was just trying to switch it up. But you know I gotta keep my hat on. I was cooking in my boxes. I had to I had to go put on some pants. Some sweats. I like to be comfortable when I cook. I just like to be comfortable, period, around the house. But yeah, I was, uh, I had just got through watching uh, Hood Discover TV and do her, uh, why do I have a bad connection? I'm on Wi Fi. Watching hood, just oh shoot, my oil is hot while I'm over here talking. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the hash in the skillet. Be careful when you're dropping anything into the skillet with hot oil because you don't want to get burned. Not a good feeling, my friend. You hear that sizzle. When you hear that sizzle in the Robertson household, you know it's going down. So what I do, typically I would season my potatoes before I throw them in, but I'm going to season them right now while they're in there. Okay. And what I'm going to use is, ouch. I'm gonna use salt, of course. Gotta have the salt, it's not gonna taste right. Okay. I'm gonna use some garlic powder since I'm not using real garlic today. And everything is seasoned by feel. Uh, Okay, here it is. I got lost for a second. All right, so I have regular paprika, but we're not gonna use that. Actually, two things. We're gonna use the smoked paprika, okay? Give it better flavor. Give it that nice smoky paprika taste. What's up, boy? You don't want no paprika on you? And then, of course, we got the crushed black pepper. Mm -hmm. Alright. So I'll let y'all take a look at that real quick. And got my slotted spoon. Alright, so we're mixing it up 
like that, real nice like. So we're gonna let that get nice and cook down a little bit. And while we're waiting on that, um, let's see. What else do I need to do? I just lost train of thought. Okay. That's the thing about this. See, with the... Uh, I think with live rays you can pause your stream, but with YouTube you can't pause your stream because I would just pause it and come back to you guys. But we're gonna let this cook down a little bit. And like I said, I got the spinach that I'm gonna put in. And I really want to cut up some more red pepper, but I don't have any for my mini peppers. So while we're waiting on the I'm gonna turn down the temp on the potatoes a little bit. All right, waiting on the potatoes to cook down. We're gonna clean up. Clean up our mess, okay? Semi mess. It's not really that mess, but all the ingredients that we took out, we're gonna put them back up. That's the key to a successful day of cooking. Not having a big mess when it's time to sit down and eat. <laughs> The jalapenos and the green bell peppers. So we're gonna start putting the veggies in there too, so they can cook down. We've got the onions. We're throwing all the onions in. Like I said, I'm doing. I want everything to be big flavors, so I, I didn't really cut them down this time like I usually would. I wanted big flavors today. We got the jalapenos and the bell peppers. I would pick up the cutting board and just slide it, but this is one of them thick cutting boards, so I can't really just maneuver it that easy. I'm going to put the sausage in there last since it don't take that long to cook. I know a lot of you guys are probably still in chill mode, especially on a Saturday. You are doing your own thing, so I know this morning is not a good time to do my cooking with Chris. But for me, this was a perfect time because I wasn't doing anything else. But you are, you are going to always come back to the channel and watch it, and I know you will, so it's all good. It's all good because you've been asking for it big time. I think I've what, done one cooking with Chris on live race, and that's been the only time I've done it. But yeah, I think this will be a good series for YouTube as well. Just so y'all can see what the family do behind the scenes, baby. Now, I didn't mean to have my uh, phone in portrait mode when I started this live stream, but it was too late. So, yeah, it's in portrait mode, but next time it will be in landscape, or next time I'll just use my actual, my actual camera. 
That way I can have a better production. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. The dang on there look like stir fry. There's these big onions in there. <laughs> but this is a sweet yellow onion, so it'll cook down and taste real good, man. I guess I could edit it, huh? I can just uh make the video private and then download it to my editing software. Drop a little music in the background. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So the live stream is just for you guys. Gonna be spicy. For those of you that don't know, onions take on the flavor of everything you got in the skillet. So, if you wanna see how your flavors are tasting, bite into one of the onions. It'll tell the whole story of what's going on in the skillet, baby. So yeah, this meal right here is gonna have a little bit of heat because of the jalapenos I put in there. I did leave some of the seeds in. Mm -hmm. So it can be have a little kick, so I wouldn't have to use the cayenne pepper. That's the whole reason behind that. And then knowing me, I'm probably still going to end up using... Uh, go ahead and put the sausage in there. Still going to probably end up using some Red's hot sauce. Just because... For the culture, baby. <laughs> What's up, man? Uh-oh, I didn't cut these. Oh, they were hiding. They were hiding in the mix. Yeah, yeah, I cut them, buddy. So they can, uh, that's like six bites right there. Oh. So now we're going to take a look at the hash and show you guys how it looks, okay? You want to see how it looks, uh, uh, Andrew? I done went through every kid name before I got to here. I'll let you know you got too many kids. Saying that we have a bad connection and poor connection, but I don't understand why when we um, are on the Wi Fi. Anyway, let's take a look at it. Just by visuals, it looks like it doesn't have enough paprika in it. And see, so you don't have to go heavy on salt because you can always salt potatoes post cooking and it still tastes good. Some foods you can't do that with. The potatoes, yeah, you'll be straight. Let's check and see if uh, we still give it a little bit more cooking time. kind of lower than what I used to do because I was I'm been talking so we're gonna crank up the heat a little bit then we're gonna throw the spinach in okay what you say Andrew and just say hi to the peas say hi Daddy. say hi to the peas 
Say hi. Not dad, dad. Say hi. Dad. Hi. Dad. Yeah, you saying hi. Dad. Okay. <laughs> you being creative. You see him with his bell pepper? He put his bell pepper in his bottle cap. Yeah. So, give me a moment. <laughs> Gotta cut up the spinach. Need to go rinse it off, and I'll be right back. Okay, and we are back with the spinach. Well, I'm just going to use the leaves. I usually use the stem sometimes too, especially in my hashes. But not today. Not today. Because our hashes are already full of everything. So. Alright, so we cut up our spinach. This is how it looks. Just the leaves. Okay. Leaves. Not much stem. And we're going to put that in here with the uh, hash. Dip all that over. So yeah, man, I'm happy about my Dallas Mavericks getting Dennis Smith Jr. He's going to be an explosive player. For, for whatever reason, he was, in my mind, I think of him like a Russell West. Oh yeah, okay, now the potato is pretty much falling apart. Okay. Easy to cut through. Like I said, I had this potato a little bit thicker than normal. So I need to crank up the heat on it. getting to where we need to be so we can go ahead and throw since the spinach don't cook take that long to cook you don't you don't want to put it in there at the beginning of the process because then your spinach will be no good and have no nutritional value anyway he remind me of a, for, for just my own personal evaluation of a Russell Westbrook type player and that's what we need somebody explosive on the Mavericks I was Hoping they would not get that dude from overseas. Ned Lakina, is that his name? Frank or whatever. Because mm -hmm. we don't need a, a, a player that's still going to be in the D-League once he get here. Just so he can develop. Nah. I'd rather take a young American baller. Somebody that ball their butt off. That's ready to play right now. And got that aggressive mentality, man. We haven't had a point guard like that ever. JJ Barea is our our pit bull. Not saying there's anything wrong with JJ Barea, because he was the reason, one of the reasons why we beat the Lakers, period, and went to the championship, you know, to the NBA Finals that year and won it. So he was a big part of that. But when it comes to drafting young talent, we need a young bull. Somebody that's fearless, man. Right now, I'm just mixing the greens in. Letting them cook down a little bit. Put a lot of greens in here, man. So let's check this out. I 
It looked way bigger than this when I initially put it in. That's why I couldn't pick up the phone because I had to kind of stir it in first. See how it cooked down a whole lot. Gotta get all your power greens in, man. Breakfast, they say, is the most important part of the day, right? A uh, part of important meal of the day. I usually don't eat breakfast, so. <laughs> Shouts out to everybody that get, get their breakfast in. But we're gonna take full advantage of this one. For those who don't know, we use red potatoes, skin them, dice them up into big chunks. Like I said, it's going to be a big chunky breakfast. All right, spinach is done. We can take that off the heat now, okay? Mm -hmm. We got uh, spinach, onions, spinach, onions, red potatoes, um, Sausage, uh, red bell peppers, jalapeno peppers, and green bell peppers, okay? That's what this breakfast is consistent of today, everybody. Uh, thank you all for coming out, man. We about to get our grub on. All right, y'all take it easy. Peace.